Perfect Turn Podcast, episode 197, Lamar. Amy. AI is taking over. But this time, it's a female fatale. This is the movie that has the first female fatale that basically is uh, going to take over the world and uh, put us all in pretty much the apocalypse. That's or right. does it? I don't oh, know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. It's coming yeah. from Full Moon Features, Lamar, on September 29th. Yeah, so... Let's get into it, Joe. Where do we start? As always, what do we think of the story? Well, 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 Joe. We got a, a lonely hacker, Scott Keys. What he does is he basically, what, he copies other corporations like software and sells it out to other people. Yeah. And he works with these, uh, this brother and sister duo, uh, Hunter and Gazelle. And they basically bring him this new piece of software. But it, hidden inside is an AI by the name of Amy. It is a redheaded uh, Caucasian woman who is designed to please her master's needs. Like one of those movies where the gal becomes obsessed. <laughs> like yep, exactly. Trying to make him... So I feel like I've seen this before. Aside from the jokes, like I feel like I've seen this exact plot with like a robot or something. Well, there was her, but that was where I think a guy fell in love with the robot. Mm. So, so, man. Well, I did enjoy this story. It was put together really well and everything mm -hmm. so i just it was it's very standard there's nothing like too wild or whatever it's just kind of i wouldn't say stock but it's safe uh -huh. but entertaining so i'll give it a half point oh a half point mm -hmm. oh okay yeah i kind of agree because here is the <laughs> thing i feel like the problem is is that this could have been maybe shortened to like a half an hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. It's, it almost comes across, now that you say that, like a good episode of like X-Files or something. Like Black a, Mirror. <laughs> something, something like that. that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I see what you're saying. So yeah, it just stretched it out a little bit too much. But the story was interesting. So, but yeah, yeah. half a point. All yeah. right. Well, our next category is characters. <laughs> uh, we kind of already uh, what is it uh scott keys yeah. he he i think the actor did a good job of he's like yeah. he's a recluse basically but, but he's not like fidgety he just doesn't care about other people but there is some depth to him yeah as the story goes along the brother and sister duo they were cool too and stuff like that yeah, so, they, yeah. like everyone did their thing well but they mm -hmm. didn't have much to do i guess i mean it was that <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm a half point. It's just like they really? were not bad. They were not good. They were just kind of there. I mean, I'll give it a one, Joe. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What's next? All right. Lamar, next category is what did we think of the special effects? <laughs> well, uh, like we said, it's full moon. You know, actually, we didn't mention it was a course uh, directed by charles brand charles band yep i think that these effects were cool yeah um i don't want to spoil anything because there was one where i kind of laughed i was like <laughs> i didn't see that one coming let's just say um uh someone gets exploded you're yeah just like, that happened a couple right. of times yeah so i like the effects i think they fit into like a full moon movie so yeah. yeah, it wasn't like over the top. There wasn't like a lot of gags and stuff like I was no. expecting from a full moon. But whatever was there was done well. But anyways, what are you giving it for a special effects? I gave it a one. What are you giving it? Yeah, I give it a one. There could have been more, but it whatever they had in there, like it it fit and it was fun. So yes, our next <laughs> our next category, Lamar, because this is typical when we re review a full moon features. Uh, what do we think of the TNA? Uh, one, just one. We're just gonna give it a one. This is a, a one point TNA. Yeah, there you go. Charles Band never disappoints <laughs> when it comes never, to that. <laughs> never, 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 never. Well, our last category is sequel potential. I think they have left it where it can be a sequel. Mm -hmm. I would love it if it was shortened down. I would personally like it. Maybe I'm the only one. What they did with like Miss Katonic U. And that kind of stuff. Because there's mm. more to Amy that's yeah. hinted at with two other characters. So Amy just didn't come out of nowhere. So if we get the backstory of that kind of stuff. I what if like they that. went back in time to I find the real Amy that inspired the AI and they had to eliminate her before they can make the AI that goes crazy and starts killing people? 
Wow, Joe, that's not the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. But you know what? That's great. That is awesome. That is awesome. So yeah. you're on board with time travel. Sure, why not? Fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but why would they go back in time to find the woman that is based off? Wouldn't, wouldn't the AI just be based off of you know algorithms and shit off of Google? But like they must AI? have based it off of a real person is what I'm saying. They don't, I always have to base it off a real person. I think they did. But it, I thought it was like the weird science like method where they took all the pictures and combined it. And then that's the woman that came up with it. Yeah. And our hero has to go back in time and find all of those women from those pictures. Okay. Now you're losing me, damn it. You're, you're going too far. You don't have to do all of that. You don't have much imagination, sir. I don't. You had me at the first one where they had to go back in time and find like the original woman, but go back and find all the inspirations. For yeah. AI. It'll be like national treasure, <laughs> like with time oh, travel. Well. <laughs> Have to, to figure find out, the like, way, the codes. yeah, find through all these inspirations, like the codes to stop her. Like, because in the sequel, uh, Amy has become too powerful, so they have to find all these codes, yeah, to basically, you know, shut her down. I like it, anyways. I'll <laughs> give it, <laughs> I'll give it one point. However, I would say if they do a sequel, they've got to do something way different than this, yeah, if they got to up the ante or whatever. I agree. A one. Yeah, maybe tie I'm it into. Maybe they can tie it into a, one of their other franchises somehow, like yeah. one of the evil, the evil dolls or something. Again, this is an AI or whatever. I'm something. here for it. Well, Lamar, we tally the score, and this movie gets a four point two five out of five. Um, like you said, just a little bit more. If they yeah. do a sequel to this, I think they can add more to it and stuff. Like yeah, that, so. it's it's a different tone. Yes. So. If you're going into it thinking it's going to be one of the campier stuff, it's not that, but it's still a good watch. You know, Joe, you were mentioning, like, you know, teaming this up with, like, other stuff. What if that's the next one, like Amy and the Demonic Toys? Yeah, that's what I just said, kind of. <laughs> but, like... Weren't you paying she attention, makes, like, Lamar? No, 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 no. <laughs> like that, but no, like, she makes her own, like, new breed of, like robot toys and yeah. stuff like that that's what i'm talking about like amy and okay not amy and the demonic toys like amy and the i don't know toy bots or something like that that make well what this movie inspired me to do was to see if i can create a lamar ai just like amy like it's got the face and i i come in here every day and i turn it on Except for Lamar AI, like, you know, he's pleasant and hopeful about life. and Then it's not the real Lamar AI. What the hell are you talking he's a, about? He's that, accepting that of Ramal. new ideas. <laughs> like, he has hair. He doesn't have glasses. No. An AI, he has all of your horrible attributes. But unlike you, the purpose of an AI is to learn and, and try to grow and be better. While you, sir, are stuck in your grumpy a Lamar bubble. Then it's not a real Lamar AI. Dude. It will, yes. You're because trying to change. Don't change No, me. I'm trying to make Lamar better. <laughs> and that's then what AIs are me, supposed to do. If it's based off of me, yes. how can it be doing all of those Because things? he's going to start off a miserable guy, but then over time, as he absorbs, he's going to become the better person that you should be. No. Which is the point of AI. And soon you will well, be replaced. That's not the point of AI. It's the point of AI is just to steal other people's ideas and try to make some new shit. The, the, while you're stuck being grumpy, Lamar, AI Lamar is going to develop and grow and become a better person, and receptive of Lamar new ideas. AI. It's not <laughs> Lamar. You might, like I said, call it Ramal. Just no, look, it's look. Lamar AI. <laughs> you're doing it to me right now. You're taking me and making, you are the AI. Yes, you're no. stealing the essence of who I am and then trying to make something new. No. Yes. If you were a true AI, you would start off a feeble machine. You would adapt and grow and become better. Why don't you just make up a new AI? Don't use me to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, because I I want a I, I want a better Lamar. Joe, cue the lesson learned music. Life is not about making things what we want. It's about accepting people for who they are. Maybe we don't always agree or anything like that, but we can come to a common understanding. AI doesn't understand that. And if you have to make another AI for me to be tolerable and all that kind of stuff, 
then maybe you are doing the thing that AI is doing right now. Stealing no. from real life and making something false. I'm just trying to make you better, Lamar. No. I'm trying to make a better Lamar so the world can experience a better Lamar. Just call him something else. Call him Ramal. <laughs> Anyways, does that wrap this up? It does. Amy, peace. Deuces.